Right, welcome everyone back to Subnautica. I have good news and bad news. Let's start with the bad news. I, uh, forgot to save last time, and so... I had to work on something which would make some good news. And the good news is that I... You know, I, uh, repurposed a few... A few of the goods I got here so far. I even made a few extra, extra locker for spare battery, you know. For a mesh. Yeah, the mesh is over here, you know, in case I need some of them, huh? Get an idea lid. Oh, yeah, even the diamonds all too, when I really need them. So far, I got, actually got two of them, so. Yeah, I need, I need to do the, uh. Ah, uh, shit. Oh, well, not to worry about. I have to, you know, just snag myself a few fishies, like this one, you know, because, you know, the character's hungry. Come here, you little shit. Got a few biters, too, which, yeah, why I wouldn't you to eat, to eat this little bastard? Huh. I realize that uh, if you, if you, like, swing your knife at some of the fishes here, Including the uh, the sea shark, they start to run away. Oh yeah, realizes well too. They're fully to say, feel, feed the character like a an acceptable limit. It usually takes about three fishies. I don't know. I mean, how much you know the with the Reginald is how well they will be. Must have been a couple when I skipped by accident. No, I don't know. I think I'll make it four. I said I'll make it. Calorie intake recommended. I know. Oh sh. One more again, I'll get the propulsion cannon on ya. There you go. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. What do you say about the Reginald? Persian and smoky, extremely filling. Oh. Let's see how two of them actually fill the character. And if so, I'll get Vital signs stabilizing. Who would have thought, huh? Alright. They they won the day. Shoo, scram. Or I'll put you in an aquarium. Actually that doesn't sound like a bad idea. Oh well. So yeah, now I just have to stock up again and uh, and then I have to see about how can I do about doing this. Cause yeah, not just I have have to uh, I have to shit that's right. I have to go ahead and uh, get myself again the, uh, the diamond that I left over here sitting, so I can make the laser cutter. And then with the laser cutter, I'm gonna go ahead and, and go back to Aurora. We miss a few goodies over there that uh, hey. I mean, this game has a, has a real story going behind it, but I guess our main objective most survive and whatnot. And you know, with a little bow here, with a little bow, and I can care less about it. The fun thing that I that I that I find funny about uh, the game here that uh, if you eat the uh, air sacs alive, you get a weak tickle of air from them. That's what we're looking for. I don't know how, how much of these things I'm gonna, I'm gonna need, so... Yeah, I'm gonna let a few just uh, sit around here. There we go. Time to use this one right now, because, you know, I'm hurt. Before I forget... I'm gonna head off by uh, back to life part 17. need to make more batteries. You know, I got myself those two pieces of, uh, yeah, yeah, I should, but, uh, at the red leaf biome. I don't think there's gonna be anything of use over here. For now, that is. 
for now. Any ball infected shark? Hey, Reef back. How's it going, my friend? My lovely, huge uh, shark friend. I can pick that one up, but I can't this one. That one's apparently buried deep into the, uh, the sand shark. I mean, the reef back. How dare I make something up? <coughs> so keep an eye on this if we're in a place like this, which, uh, you know, these are the ones that have like a <coughs> plenty of acid mushroom, which can do the batteries. Because without them, I'd be lost. Yes, very lost. Though not a lost, you know, this one here on the first biome, but hey. At least I find it to be better than nothing. There we go. I imagine it would be quite dreadful trying to sleep with that thing on your head the entire time. Oh well. We got three more batteries, yeah? That's the only dish to with the empty ones. One just goes. And this goes. Oh, well, the battery seems to be checking out okay. I did one with the glass around here somewhere. Lithium, copper, electronic. Huh? Piss. Yeah, there you go, glass. Throw these ones here because I don't need them. Ah, who knew? Hmm, I'm full of these ones. Good. And then we got myself a beacon at the ready. Which is also even good. Yeah, even better actually. I'm gonna just throw this one here just in case. Uh sulfur, there you go. <coughs> My uh explosive uh, compartment. I need to do the diamond cutter. No way in hell I kept, you know, these two diamonds and just uh, let it slide. Mm hmm. Thank God I got myself one of these. Titanium, cave sulfur. Right. There you go, and this should be uh, good enough, theoretically speaking. Beautiful. Right. I don't plan about constructing more, but hey. I'll go to the, uh... I'll go, you know, to the, uh... Shit, what was it again? I'm going to go to Aurora soon, uh, uh, right about now, you know? Because I know there's some goodies that we know I, mi I missed. But if you have heard the shit, oh, this shit bastard might have his, uh... Respawn. But I don't know. I have to see how it all goes. Also, I didn't realize much at first, but uh, having that compass can be quite a bit of a lifesaver. Because no matter the way you uh, you travel, let's say, especially you know for the, uh, the, the different ways you travel, some of them can be actually pretty good, or some of them can actually be pretty bad. Like that handsome boy 
we came across some time ago. You know who I'm talking about. That one huge ass, uh... Uh... I'm tripping balls. Yeah, I'm totally the one tripping balls. Leviathan class predators. One thing at a time, I'd say. But yeah, don't worry, I'll go that one sooner or later. I have to keep traveling uh, east, right? Yeah, east. I have to keep an eye out for the Leviathans, you know? Sure, I mean, the Leviathans are a beautiful creature. But uh, their beauty and the love you share for them are not the same as they have for you. Well, they see this as one tasty meal and that's pretty much it. And again, these guys have been kind of getting pretty calm, you know, the uh... What's it called? The reef backs, yeah. Fascinating. You're the one that one faggot got attacked. And he became a meal as well too. I bet he was either turned to shit by now. Or piss. Or both. Then again I don't care. What I really care is I only can survive ball now. Who knows? Maybe the sand sharks did him in. Well, you know, I did realize, you know, from the uh, gameplay of uh, some of the YouTubers that the, uh, the, the small Leviathan Reaper is usually found out by the, uh... There you go. Yeah, they don't scare me anymore. But like I've seen, the, the Leviathan, you know, the, the small one, is usually found more towards uh, the turbine of the Aurora. Right. And no radiation here, nothing for me to worry about. I have to run past these little shits now. Those godforsaken little bastards, I hate them so much. Really wish you think we're clothed and responsive with some no goodies. But apparently that's a once in a lifetime opportunity, huh? Yeah, and I try. I'm too fast for ya. Little dinky crab fuck. You got Ebola, get the heck. Yeah, jump into the fire, kill yourself. That's the best thing you'll ever do for now. Right, let's be careful of where we, where we step around. I can totally swear I see things that might have dropped some time ago. And also putting on the fires here. What difference would it make, huh? Oh yeah, that's right. It wouldn't make no difference whatsoever. Oh. I know it. He hurt myself. Yeet! Shit. God damn it. Or I could just... No. God damn it. Got verdant. Right. Yeet! I'll be careful not to kill myself. Right. And here's the one part at which I got stuck. But yeah, it's as well too, you know? The, uh... The adding they made the game, it looks fucking amazing. You know what? Maybe putting out the fires does matter, you know? Cause, uh, <gasps> over here you used to have a fire. No, not anymore. Now we have only a piece of flaming trash falling down into the water. I knew it. You little shits are back here. That's one down. 
Now one is not the bullet, no, the dead one. And there is swarm all out to it. Do you see I'm here? Yeah. I'm not that stupid. Paper lying around here. So what am I doing? I'm cutting a hole over here. Got plenty of batteries. Not afraid about that. Ugh, I'm a bit blind. Should probably let that cool down, right? I'm not swimming to the thing of molten steel. Oh, what else have we got? Then we got some more data over here too. Even the first aid kit too. Integrating new PDA data. But why a sweet officer? Let's see. Data downloads, codes, sweet officer. Yeah, in a bit, in a bit. You're telling me you've been rigged for more than a year and never took a ride outside? Well, you've only gone, you've gotten yourself in the far is a friend with a giant freaking robot suit. We've plain got nothing to do till shit. Until, you know, you got my spare prawn suit, you got your name on it. You don't know what to feel? Seek fluid intake. You wanna play cash, press a meteor? 1869. Oh, gladly. Vital signs stabilizing. Alright, good. Okay. Integrating new PDA data. It'll be good to know to what didn't know what the hell where we are here. Mission to search, search and rescue. Uh target the crew of the Mongolian vessel Degazi. Less known position, the planet. Oh, so we uh the reason why the game took, takes place here is because the Aurora was to cut this place and rescued the Degazi. But they didn't know the Degazi would be long dead. And now, for some reason, we fell down here this planet. And now all the crew here is long dead too. Right. Mongolian vessel, the Degazi, disappeared almost a decade ago. It came with a high ranking Mongolian chief, corporate insurance, and <clears throat> Purchased passage aboard the Aurora for Emissary Kassar. Your orders are to make every reasonable effort to relocate and retrieve the Degasi crew members without compromising the primary mission. Confirming the fate of their crew will aid Altair's diplomatic efforts with the Mongolian consuls. I believe Mongolia, this planet, this, uh, this uh, time and place will be like a different planet, huh? The Aurora is to perform a slingshot maneuver around a 4 6, okay, approximately 13 month post launch. This will bring the ship into the range of the Gashi last known position. Additional aquatic and all-terrain vehicles have been included in the Aurora's cargo package for the mission. The Gashi crew manifesto have been distributed to send your employees <coughs> in a separate message. Really? Interesting. Right, so this was a search and rescue mission. But now we know what happened. Everyone's dead. And now, I'm all by myself. I need this. I think I'm gonna need this more than the pastor left it here. So this is one hell of a huge door. Prawn I'll pull you out my knife. Oh, here we go. Things for forever to repair. So, this is where they kept the prawn bay. Well, yeah, there's one. I'm pretty sure that one's burning about now. No signal here, thing. Should they the fire extinguisher? Should have. The sleazy bath left it all over here too. Again, the case is infected. Huh? 
Right then. Who knew, you know, the wall that uh, you know the Aurora crew when then they, they decided to recover I mean to rendezvous at that at huh? that uh, island. Yeah. Who knew they would be so close to their main goal? Huh? Pretty sure this is a bad place to be in, but okay. Flaming pieces of a uh, molten pieces just fall down and to be honest I'm kinda of wondering what the hell I'm doing down here. Okay. Shit, I should have brought myself like a fire extinguisher. It's quite a bit of a a pain that doesn't have any fabric cut around here too given how this is the aurora itself yeah right the mark three Pran suit fragment scan overall two out of four well, you telling me that there might be something like just lying around here? Sure, I guess. But I'm not in the mood to get electrocuted by now. Well, that happened. Seems like I'm gonna go there if that's... If that's... Huh? Huh? I jump into the handle, yeah? Huh? Find some way to just go up there. Huh? Huh? Three out of four. Or, <coughs> even the living quarters. I knew there was more. Supply. What I got? Nutrient block. It's gonna be handy. Nice. All the more good stuff. <coughs> kind of wonder how old the supplies must have been from over here, <coughs> but uh, oh well. Hard table. New blueprint acquired. Tell me about it. Why not about now would be quite good, but uh, single wall shelf. New blueprint acquired. Right. Give me a second, I'll be right back. There's a kitty over there too. Little kitty. I'll take a bit of a pause here for the time being, but the damn thing is that keep me hold here for a hostage for some goddamn reason. <sighs> right. <clears throat> so yeah. In the meantime, just standing over here, and this bottle of whiskey over here. Yeah, I'm never gonna need one of these. Integrating new PDA data. Keep calm. Yeah, that'll be helpful, I guess. So, what do we got? Hmm. Natural membrane, not a vegetarian. I, I don't care. Should have waited more, but fuck it. There you go. All the more better. So yeah, we got ourselves some new goodies here. Like the uh, recipe for... Fascinating. Right. 
Range upgrade, scanner speed. Uh, Alright. Let's see. Oh yeah, I got a bar table and a single wall shelf. And for the data bank, what do you got? Vehicles. The Prawn Suit Mark III. The Pressure Reactive Waterproof Nano Suit Range range of Mech Suit designed to... <coughs> there you go. Uh, probably from extreme environments. The Mark III is the latest iteration. It has so far ever been rolled out by Altera for their own high value phase gate uh, related operations. <coughs> the suit is fully insulated from the outside of the environment. Powerful hydraulic limbs allowed for manipulating objects and power chunk vessel of the environment. Okay. Uh, rear mounted thruster to provide <laughs> maneuverability in low gravity environments, such as water, I guess. Uh, a range of modifications are available to facilitate the resource and extraction of enhanced exploration. Good. That is if I survive, that is. The prawn suit, it's got you covered. Right, for today's menu. So, for starters, we got a Space Bear Velute, Main Cottage Pie, or Nutrient Block. Mm -hmm. Rehydrated minced beef and some gravy, such as top and mashed cheese potato, Japan's Chinese potato, big fresh fruit and uncle beds, salt, salt, uh, salt tea, Chinese potato leaves. For the first time, conscious consumer, the usual nutrient block available. May consume, may be consumed, cold, reconstructed, or at the on site fabricator. Uh, I really wish you could find, you know, to get the uh, recipe for this one. Dried nuts and dried fruits and nuts. Unfortunate accident cargo being involved in the incorrect application of a repulsion can combination with the uh, modified battery charger resulting to venting into the of all the uh, dehydrated desserts. Fruit and nuts will be the only dessert available for the next 39 weeks. Thanks assholes for fucking things up. <laughs> right. And I guess that's pretty much it for the time being. Right. So this one's here locked. Snap blue. Mac and cheese. Hmm. Chicken and pork. Barbecue sliced chicken. Nice. Very good. Some very good stuff, I'd say, in my opinion. These doors are locked. The cabin one. Cabin three. Oh, nice. Finally be able to get, I'll finally be able to get some sleep. I think. New blueprint acquired. New blueprint acquired. Carry all. What? A common bag for transporting personal items. Fascinating. Very, very fascinating. They can just like store some interesting goodies over here and carry them on my way, huh? <gasps> nice. Just gonna put this duffel bag over here. <coughs> right. So I'm gonna put all the of my uh, food supplies over here. I keep these ones at hand. <coughs> keep this one over here. Eh, I guess pretty much it. Bag is not empty. Cannot pick up. Oh, I see. Very, very good and very interesting. I'm gonna leave this one here for now. Or as I know that 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 woman again. I wonder who she is. You know, this one over here. Might have been, you know, like a Commander Keen. I don't know. Coming through. Ah, bummer. Let's head off this way over here. Some of the fires I'm gonna definitely deport out. What do we got here? Disinfectant water. Nice. Very, very good. <clears throat> Integrating new PDA data. Relationship, uh, what? 
relationship contract legal doc legal the recording. Listen, I know I don't have the right to make demands of you, but I need you to understand that I want to change our arrangement. I hear what you're saying and I will try to respect it. How would you like to change it? I would like to reduce our contact hours. How much further can we do that? To zero. You're dumping me. Whoa. I'm changing the terms of our relationship. How is it still a relationship if we don't see each other? It's a relationship of a kind. You have so many expectations. I feel you just want to spend more time with that dumb guy in his dumb robot suit. That's not a feeling. It's a judgment. And I feel hostility in what you're saying. Perhaps your jealousy is a sign that you need to take another look at your business model. What? Why can't you just be happy for me? I am happy for you. And I'm happy for all the guys in the prawn bay. I'm just not happy for me. This is why I want to change our arrangement. Oh. Fascinating. Very, very fascinating, actually. Huh? Front suit. I already have that one. <coughs> huh? I have another nutrient block. That will lock. Don't need to I need even to work to bother with that one. Huh? Right. That looking good. Huh? Mm, uh, good, I'd say. I'm definitely gonna have a need for that. Huh? Got a Terra magazine in the bed over here. A natural selection. Might have been quite a movie at the uh, universe of this game. With uh you know, in, uh, cyborg aliens. I have a minigun for an arm. Huh? Uh, another nutrient block. Another first aid kit. You have to just uh, stop the firewall. Inventory fall. Yeah, no shit. Integrating new PDA data. So you got the uh, profile for the Altera Corporation. What do you got? Mm-hmm. Space frame technology and consumer control under federation. Official supplier the TSF constantly ranked among the galaxy's best employers began life as a defense manufacturer in the mid 20 uh, 22th century. National motto, get what you deserve. And then we know most trans -Gov can already can trace your roots back to Earth, Altera, Letter Mini Earth. is the only base in taking it in its name. An expansion of all supplied arms, all sides, acquiring a vast colony of the workforce, make transition from factory state, da 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 da, to importance of conflict, and Altilly signed the charter. Hmm, fascinating. Today the Altair has a ban on all weapons within its borders, although loopholes exist for law enforcement officers and manufacturing exporters. The corporation has learned that violence is the most profitable when conducted between customers rather than employees. Huh. <clears throat> Free enterprise within Altera space is encouraged, but competition is tight, but all good exports to the off-world must be Altera branded. Profitable business profitable businesses are brought out by the estate. Owners and sending to Altera board of directors will known Altera technology such as Cyclops submersible originated with such private enterprises. Mm. They seem to be going, doing well. Despite uh, the superficial similarities to its national governments, the corporation's lawyers have always maintained that it has no legal obligation to its employees, but voluntarily elects on the roles, usually served by democratically elected governments. This claim has, has not yet been tested in the Federation courts. Well, 
As long as they know there's not going to be any filthy Democrat to screw over. So they can get all the fun they can ever shove up their ass. I don't know how well the carry all would, would be for me, but hey. <laughs> how I wish. I have a code here in my PDA. <gasps> Nothing but only electronic now that's burning here. It's empty, it means I can carry it. Mm. Even if it was full, I, w I also wish I could carry it with me as well. But then again, what difference would it make? Yes, I know about the message and... Uh, give me a bit of a second. Hold on. Data bank. There you go. Codes. 1869. Hold on. 1... One, eight, six, nine. Bingo. What the hell? Arcade, arcade gorge toy. Yay! I got myself a little dinky toy. No man, I'm, now I want to be. I have to be. Now I don't have to be all, all, all lonely down there. Right. Blue cap. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be amazing. You know, especially if, if you're right in the middle of the ocean, there's gonna be nothing around, and all the all the aliens had ever dreamed to tear your flesh apart, sinking their teeth into your bones. I guess the arcade Gore George toy was a uh, would be quite a you know a happy adding, I guess. Motherfucker. There you go. New blueprint acquired. Let's ditch this one, the empty one here in the middle of uh, the, the electrode over here. See if it would charge. I doubt it. <laughs> but hey, that was a shot in my opinion. Double bed. Nice. Even more comfort. New blueprint acquired. But what does it mean? Like a double bed over here? When is someone here was gay or what? Huh? Integrating new PDA data. Responsible autonomous relationships. I can only wonder what this is gonna go for. Hmm. What do you mean? Okay, that's uh, quite interesting. I'll keep that one for now. We'll be amazed if we could sleep for a bit. <sighs> How the good in life are the commodities we, we trade, love, just as we buy and sell stock. We engage in human relationships when there's a fair exchange of value, support, motivation, and affection. Oh. <clears throat> Nothing good is ever free. It is a physical good in the Federation came from a single supplier who constitute for a dangerous monopoly. Figures. Personal relationships are the same. It is the same for people to get what they need from multiple sources. If a person finds a better source of the goods they require, they are not wronging their original suppliers by changing their purchasing agreements. If one of the uh, of relationships should feel threatened or jealous, they must look at their own business model and ask uh, whether they are performing competitively, there's always room for improvement. Well, no shit. The wall shelf. Okay. Sir, surely this one is not mine. Huh? 
I drink this one. I said drink this one because I'm thirsty. I'll take this one because what the hell not. Now I should be all full to the brim. The captain's quarters. Do I have any codes for that? I doubt that. Sweet offer. Two, six, seven, nine. Okay, let's see. Two, six, seven, nine. Cross your fingers. There you go. Ah, oh, look at that. The dinky Aurora. Before it was you know, uh, a home to a lot of demons and monsters alike. Let's see for two. Okay, fascinating. I'm gonna take this one with me. I like it. Let's see what we got for the captain's log. Classified. Well, no shit. Well, let's look around, see what we can get our hands on, too. Integrating new PDA data. Let Neptune escape rockets. The blueprint was developed at the headquarters. We can see if we can get you off. Four five four six. Uh, to get back to the nearest space gate, it takes into local gravity, astronomical data, and available resources piloted by an AI. Consists of five uh, independently constructed elements. Launch platform provides a solid base for which launch the rocket. <coughs> Gantry supplies for support. Stage one primary sources to reach the atmosphere escape velocity. Uh, two the secondary thrusters to achieve an orbit. Three cockpits. Warning: onboard AI will not launch if there are local threats detected. I can only wonder why. Then again. It's going to be quite a bit of an interesting amount of work to do. Uh, now the only thing now is what to expect is now just a freaking re revise and bass just pop in the middle of nowhere and just to screw things up. Why? Because it wants a snack and because the lazy fat bass that doesn't know the only the only thing it gets good in life just eating shit all day long. Right. Aurora long range communications really offline. Average long range transmission delay, eight hours. Wow. Opening last recorded transmissions. This is an emergency distress call. Aurora is on collision course with planet four, five. This four, is Altera six, HQ. Eight. Attached to this message, you should find the blueprints for an escape ship that we calculate will be capable of breaking orbit and getting you back to the nearest phase gate. Now it's designed to use materials you can find in situ. But it's gonna need one hell of a power source. Now we'll be sure to Figures. Figures. If only the scrawny bass would be what he was in here enough, just so you can see. Here we have ourselves the Neptune launch platform. Provide stable surface which to uh, uh, It's quite interesting, but hey. I kind of enjoyed this, uh, this this place here for quite a bit of a while. So yeah, everything around here has been like a... Uh, been discovered. Alright, just download down this guy here. Aurora. <laughs> it's quite adorable to be honest. As for that, I could take this one over here. But plot twist, I can't. I have to see about the message as well, too. Oh well, oh well. Surely there's no one else in here anymore. Shit. Out the fires. Guess don't know how dangerous this thing is to have around.
There we go. Right. Now this is Half-Life 2, it seems. <laughs> well, shit. At least you know that mask will provide even if I'm even bigger uh, <clears throat> to an even bigger fire extinguisher, but no. Things a little bit dangerous have to be lying around here. Sure, if you think about it all too, this place here can be considered a interesting, let's say... How can I say? A very interesting... This interesting thing, you know, like a home to be to use. Then again, some of the doors here they are locked. There you go. Junk. I just plug this in, you know, like a, and just let it recharge. Well, it did its work. That's you know, a, uh, they can ask for the damn thing for the time being. So yeah. Oh, even more of them as well here too. Looks a little bit fucked up in my opinion. New blueprint acquired. Yeah, thank you for notifying me. Ah shit. <gasps> oh, I'm burning! I'm burning! I'm burning! Fuck it. We already got ourselves plenty of good stuff, so might as well just head back home. Sweet officer. Sweet officer. How dare I even read it wrong? It's sweet offer. God damn it. Now for the little bandit plague around this place. Have been here for quite a while, for a bit of a while. Well, they might have just swimmed around, I don't care. <clears throat> I had to clear my, my throat a bit. The uh, a lot of little friend over here. <gasps> Shit, yee! Ha ha ha, there we go. Even though, <clears throat> to be honest, is diving around here at the you, ah, uh, to be honest, it's quite a bit of an adorable bastard, but holy shit. Let's just, let's just get the fuck out of here. Sure, sure, at least the, uh... 
the sand shark. They can have their fun having their mental breakdowns and swimming around, yeah? Thing is, if you know, if, uh, you know, it's be the problem. If I just keep my swimming around here, well, let's just say that Reaper Leviathan is gonna see me as a, as a tasty little snack. But hey, I'm limited edition. I'm not that t that edible. Mm. Ah, good. At least that's quite comforting. I should take a bit of refuge, you know, into the uh, the life pot, so I could, uh, <coughs> so I can, let's say, have the, uh, <sighs> well, like I was saying, so I could just have myself the, uh, my uh, inventory secured. I don't know if you know even what they got survivor there would be a. I don't much to expect this point. Oxygen. And to be truthful, I uh, don't think even the... Uh, the Degas survivors are even alive at this point. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Huh. Uh-huh. Shit. Cause then again I know if I uh if I go diving with the uh let's just say with my current to myself. I guess my uh inter internal organs would have been crushed. Rumor is that I heard like if you go let's say diving beyond uh, for quite a bit of like a a certain amount of distance below. I heard that uh, very nasty things could happen, you know? Because for one, let's say, uh, when we dive, we know that our ears are heavily affected. Even by the smallest amount of meters we can go down the water. Or in the meters for that matter. And for what I can say, I mean, that, uh, you know, going, if I know, going by going a small amount down can be quite bad. Imagine what 200 what 250 meters can do to your ear, to your ears. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. I only need two. Well, like I said, I only need two. I'm gonna need, I need myself one of these. Yeah, you know how, uh, how sometimes some things, you know, just really play with the batteries, yeah? Can I put it right next to this one? No. And that's why I took care of the time. Well, just do one. And where did I put the other one? Hmm. Strange, but I could care less. There. Food. A bit of a big one, huh? Well, I got this one here filled all the way to the brim. Might as well just do something of you have you interest with these things.
That's not the thing, you retard. God damn it. Rotate. Oh, interesting. God damn it. Stop pulling the damn thing. Can I put this one over here? Motherfucker. There you go. Yee. A natural trophy. What else? No, wait. Yep, a cap. I should be able to use myself one of these ones. Fucking hell. Could that guy just... I guess. I'm gonna let you too much of the Aurora. You're my best little friend. Yes. Okay. Eh, it could be worse. I thought at least I was going to shove the, uh, the antenna up the poor thing's ass. <laughs> well, speak of the devil, I think I might as well just uh, put myself in the post around here nearby. Mmm, what is it now? Just uh, put it in the chair. I'll be good. Thank you. Ah, uh, yeah. Hmm. I mean, the counter is way more agreeable. Oh, I need just two titaniums and it'll be all good. Right? Of course. Why wouldn't it be? Little friend. There we go. Matter of fact, I think I could just I could just put one of these just around here somewhere. I somehow feel like a child again. <laughs> Given the fact that uh, <clears throat> the only thing that's like, keeping me sane are just a few toys and a piece of clothing known as a hat as a cap. Eh, oh well. At least it's good not to have like a little buddy over here. Protecting the protecting my diamonds. And my lid. Even to be honest, well, too, I believe I should. I would make myself a window, a prawn suit, yeah. So this we got an ep uh, epic exosuit designed for navigating any environments on foot. We need a plastic ingot, aerogel. However, the hell I'm gonna find on those. Diamond and lead is quote unquote easy at this point. <laughs> Hmm. Shit. <clears throat> and just some more 
when this thing is going to be filled up with the brim. But yeah, let's see. Hmm. What can I do at this point? Little shit. Actually, I don't have need for this one. Go away. Go away. But yeah, this is how the, uh, my, uh, my bridge over here is looking so far. This is save, I had to redo a few things. I'd be killed, I'm gonna get myself burnt by this, uh, flare, which is still... Hold on. No, it's not flo- Well... If it's floating, then it's floating, then it's f f I mean, it's just falling, it's falling really slow. I don't know. Well, at this point, I feel like I might have done the right thing. I feel. But that doesn't mean I, may, I am doing the right thing. Regardless, I believe I should, uh... Hold on. Yeah, we're good. I believe I should head off to the, the Aurora Rendezvous point. And hope that no Leviathan... If you're going to chew my brains out, well, you know, just chew me like a bubble gum. I don't know. And speak of the devil. Thankfully, I'm already here, so that makes things a little bit easier for me. Let's see what the message actually is, uh, is telling me to do. Hmm? This is Life Pod 7. Coordinates attached. Pod is structurally sound, but the fabricators bust. Requesting assistance. Seven out. That sounds like one of the Degasic survivors, if you remember from last episode. <coughs> Should actually go over there. Actually, let's go for something new, you know, given how, uh, let's say. I mean, given how, let's say. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stupid fish. You will never understand. What's the importance of the things I need to do? Well, golly gee, I mean, I kind of wonder, you know, what? What's the worst thing that could happen about now, right? I mean, surely I won't be attacked by anything at all. Oh no, no. Why would I, right? I mean, like a rape leviathan. What, are you kidding me? Uh, I don't know. Uh, what about... Oh, it's a bone shark, don't worry about it. Oh, one thing at a time, alright? How deep is that thing? Uh... Okay. A random... 30 seconds. Ah, oh, damn it. This place is so freaking dark for no reason. What the? God damn it, windows! Oxygen. Right. So for one, you can already tell, I feel I'm, I'm already in discomfort. Uh. Oh, Ebola. At least the Ebola infected ones are easy to find. There we go. A toy car. What? 
What the hell? Unusual doll. And then a gray cap. Integrate new PDA data. That'll have to wait. I really, really like this biome. But first off... <clears throat> oh yeah, yeah, peace bridge to yourself. You rude animal. Nice quartz deposit. I'm gonna have to see you come back with a a special thing. Well, hey friend, how the, how are you? What? If I shine a light in your eyes, you know I'm a friend, right? You little shit. Feels good now, doesn't it? Feels good now, doesn't it? You little shit. Come back here. I'm just getting started, you old fucker. 30 seconds. I believe just pushing them all the Kriegvine biome. That's why, because it's night time. I had to shut down the, uh, the light narrator. It's consuming too much power, and by now it's already just uh, uh <clears throat> and by now it's already pre pretty obvious. And water. Thank we got this. I did scan the doll, didn't I? I think I did. Oh well. I guess we're gonna have to find out what happened to the old bastard. Welcome aboard, Captain. What do you got? Signal priority automated passenger from Aurora Live Pod 13 coordinates attached. Live Pod is carrying high priority passenger. Yoki Kassar. Seek fluid intake. I said Kassar. Why do I have to record this anyway? Send immediate burial detail. Immediate burial detail. Okay. Vital signs stabilizing. Okay. Yep! Always another reminder of how crazy I've gotten. Maybe I'm crazy. Gorge. How shall know the two wrath of Gorge? The king of two caps, Aurora miniature, and a car. We got this thing here too. There's nothing inside the flask. <sighs> right. Nothing here of the importance. Let's see down here. Hmm. Mark plier. I should have fucking knew. <laughs> ah. <clears throat> Lead and diamond. Break of the glass. There you go. I took quartz. I didn't took titanium. Imbecile. Hmm. 
Hmm. You know... Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> Quit your head bobbing all the time. Okay, at least it's small enough that I could, uh... Let's consider it placing like a, a place of importance right now. Of now. Let's see... Let's get it once over here, but it's not led me again. Too big for the shelves. Oh, there you go. Why over there? I don't know. Boom. Ah, blimey. What the fuck was that for? Well, at least I turned glass into, into titanium. For some reason. Let's do it again. Right. At least got the bubble head of a grown man who apparently is a scaredy cat. <laughs> Hello everybody, my name is Mark Lyon. Welcome back to Subnautica. I fucking knew it. <laughs> I like you even more now. There you go. <sighs> well, life part thirteen of this passenger who was so goddamn important and send the detail for the burial, huh? Well, this will be something. I'll take two because I need to remake a battery as soon as I get it back home. The funny thing, I should have done this already. But hey, what do I know? What do I care, huh? My bet, hey, you know, the guy who ever fell down here, I mean, basically anyone already fell down at this point, and my bet at least. Let's just say they were all evaporated. You know, when they fell down into the uh, surface here because of all the heat and whatnot. Or because they chose to stand up. Rather than using the thing, I don't know. Let me just scan you again because I lost all the data on you, my beautiful Jelly Ray. Come back here. There you go. Damn, the thing's so beautiful. And of course, the parasite. I don't know what happens if I kill all these. The parasites must die. 30 seconds. Oh, blimey. Blimey. Might as well just uh, jolt all the way up to the surface. And sort of regard as well, too. Well, this is plenty of space. Why wouldn't there be a Leviathan, right? Oxygen. That's what I'm doing. Just think about it. Why wouldn't it, huh? You know what is what is missing now? We got the Markiplier bobblehead. We got a few toys. And now I guess what's missing now? What do we got? Ultra Glide Glide Fit. Nice. Acquired. 
Hey, the old friend. I hope you don't mind me cutting my lunch today. I'm bad in PDA. Integrate new PDA data. Yes, yes. Yep, looks like they weren't, they weren't using the, uh, the safety thing. But nothing I can do too much about that, yeah? And sure I know about the, I already know about the hidden alien, uh, about the hidden alien thing, and so I don't think there's a point in visiting it any, again at this point. But yeah, surely we just uh, discovered two of their teleporters. Will they do something? I guess we'll never know. What do we got? Piece of shit. Right. They got the light on, that's why. And they got the... Uh... Oh, shit. Like, we'll see, we got, like, the little fishes cannibalizing each other over there. Right. Uh, there we have home sweet home all the extra foundation because you know I need you know to have like a you know to give like a base a bit of a health or support as I build my way down something like that I know right make a battery as planned beautiful beautiful no need. <laughs> Food. I know I left uh, like one of these ones just uh, floating up there, and I never really managed to. I didn't really let's say bother too much to poke around at it, haven't I? Uh, I got a beacon. Why do I have a beacon? Why didn't another one? Throwing the titanium, eat this, and what else? The copper, that's right. Bingo! <laughs> if only I had my own bubble game in this game. Well, bubble head in this game. <coughs> Silly Markiplier. Look at you, so lucky or not. And me, just being a small fry on YouTube. So yeah, that's what we got here so far. We got a fence I got, silicone rubber I got, titanium I got, and lithium. Hmm. Sure, this sounds pretty interesting, but wouldn't the ultra-high capacity tank be more worth it? Eh, I should probably get this one started first. After all, it would make much more sense, wouldn't it? Put this away, I don't need it right now. I need two of these. And a piece of titanium. Wait, that's silver, goddammit. Lithium. That's right, I changed spots. Silly me. Silly me. Silly me. Fins. Got these on. And the fins all right. Like a knife. Bummer. Looks like it ain't, it ain't here. Why don't we just put these back on? <coughs> yes, I guess I should always 
know more what to do. Shouldn't worry about that anymore. Shouldn't worry about that. Boom. And now, lithium. Boom. Because now I'm going to need as much space to haul in as much as I can. Why not? Boom! One, two. Everything look good? Huh. The voice log. Well, shit. So he got the, uh... Huh. You got roar survivors. 13, huh? Live pod systems online. Passenger 7, Emissary, Yohi, Kassar has boarded the live pod. But the live Mongolia pod one. sequence initiated. My creators, the cherishers and sustainers of worlds, give me this day my daily pleasures as I give to those who seek pleasures from me. Mm -hmm. Live pod detached from Aurora. Okay. Entering planetary atmosphere. External temperature approaching critical levels. No shit. Show me the path in life, truth, and love for mine is the power. I am the one. On and off and on again. <sighs> Exterior hull damage sustained. Life support systems failed. Impact imminent. Life is a game which the universe plays with itself. I am done playing as this bundle of flesh. Return me. Boom. Hmm. And so the diplomat became a uh, either vapor or charcoal. That I don't know. Life part seven seven crow. I tried everything. The analysis circuits on the fabricator are fried. Mm-hmm. Can barely manufacture the most basic of materials. Want a battery? Here, have a children's toy. Need deep sea diving equipment? Have some lab tech. Hungry? I'll turn that fruit into dust for you. Hmm. I'm going forward with trial and error. I hit every button here, it's gotta make something useful eventually. That is until he vanished into thin air. Indigenous life forms, coral. Tree mushrooms? Yeah, we already read that. Herbivores. Jelly Ray. <laughs> well, yeah. This is a little friendly bastard. I should like him the most about this one. C. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Explicable fungal enzymes. Well, shit. I guess there's not much I can do about this one, is there now? Boom. I guess that's pretty much it then, huh? You know what? I should have taken a picture at the, uh... No, I shouldn't have taken a picture of the Warper, is that what you're telling me? Well, to be honest, I guess you're right. Would have been too risky. Nice. But I'm gonna have to get a move on. Right. I'm not down here. Where was it again? The, the Aurora Rendezvous Point. There we go. So we already got the old man who uh, got himself uh, messed. I don't know how late you know it took for them to vanish over here. But yeah, I guess you know, like it's basically a story that follows. First the scrawny old man, he falls over there. Then he swims all the way up to the uh to the uh the island, which is the Aurora Rendezvous Point. Because they're gonna have like a video home. And somehow, some way, all in ten years, they made it where Ozzy fell and Eventually, yeah, I you know it's nighttime, and they eventually had their 
Let's get a little habitat in those caves. Well, I know that one of them died. Leave the radar on. Maybe we'll should have some shit. I'd be like some some more light on it, and we'll see what we can find of interest. That is not too far now. So you might be asking a question: <clears throat> Would I be able to? Just Picking up multiple energy signatures on the island's surface. Thanks for notifying me. Hence the reason why I brought this one. I must seek a resting place for this little, little guy over here. You will now rest over here. There you go. Can I edit the beacon name? There you go. Ugh. There you go. Kinda stressful to have to do this all over again. Well, I'm glad you still say you told me that. Vital signs stabilizing. That wouldn't be too... Be keen on that. There we go. So, yeah. Pull out my, uh... Huh? Hmm. That barely hadn't scanned this already, but hey. What do I know, huh? What do I know? Huh? Huh? I found Mark Flyer's bobblehead. I don't believe I should not be able to... Huh? Huh? I should not fuck up over here. Huh? I shall not... Well, it's right over there. Yeet! I didn't slam my tummy in the water. That's a good thing, I guess. <coughs> oh, it looks pretty deep as well, too. What do you got? We got Ben PDA. Integrating new PDA data. We have to board the Aurora, repair the long range comms. Make contact with the other survivors. We can't be the only two that made it. Those are not the orders the captain gave me, and they are not the orders I'm giving you. This isn't chain of command. It's survival. My obligations as acting commander don't turn on their convenience. Get out of the water. If I get into trouble, I'll send you my coordinates. I can't let you go alone. Then come with me. Hmm. You don't leave me much choice. Received emergency transmission from second officer Keen. Two hours after last activity. Hmm. Rendezvous was a failure. Intercepted a transmission from Altera HQ. Seems they sent a data package to the Aurora. We were intercepted by a Leviathan-class predator before we could reach the ship. Hmm. Consider the CTO and I lost at sea. Be safe. Keen. Yeah. Out. Well, I mean, just need to put myself a coat on. So yeah, we already got this, uh, <clears throat> this data package here so far. Well... Looks like you, unfortunately, has been either beaten by Leviathan or I don't know. Oh, I know this officer Keen is somewhere lost in the sea. As for myself, I sigh by some miracle I survived. Oh, maybe because I'm smart, or maybe all that luck, I don't know. Indigenous life forms, flora, land. Eh. Ah. Okay, good to know. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Fair enough. Well, yeah. I'm pretty sure there was a... Ah, there we go. Pink cap. I'll read them all later on. 
if there's anything special to them. Boom. And boom. What else we got? Oh yeah, the fungus. Can't go wrong with that. The fungi, actually. Right. So, of course, I'm actually from down here. If you look up, you're actually find yourself or quite like a... the first point to go. And I'm keen to go into it. Clearly, this can't be the way. What the fucker got up there then, huh? That was it, wasn't it? Well, there you go. You know, the more of all those sand, it usually tells you the way, the way where to go. The bulkhead door. In case when the shit really hits the fan, right? <clears throat> Blueprint acquired. Got a stasis rifle fragment over here. Boom. Excellent. Even the spotlight's found here too. Near blueprint acquired. Excellent. Some water. It's an abandoned PDA over here. Integrating new PDA data. Bart Torgal, huh? Uh, speckle Rattler, Pink Cap, mm, sadly inedible. Well, I bet, I bet so it might be inedible. My bet, it might be because it's, uh, I don't know, poisonous. Let's see the Degasi survivors. This is the first time I've seen sunlight in months. After all that time in the deep, I'd been dreaming of it. Now that I'm back here, <sighs> I'm finding it hard to enjoy alone. Father was right. We should never have left this place. Hmm. We shouldn't have gone so deep. They do not want us down there. Despite my best efforts, ill health is taking hold of me. The visions are getting worse. Mm -hmm. Our and father are now part of the ecosystem of this incredible planet. Hmm. It's reassuring to know that when I go, I'll join them. Until then, well, huh? there's always the view. New blueprint acquired. Oh, well, you know that the uh, the old man, you know. They, uh... Jesus Christ, for how long this place has been abandoned, eh? Well... <clears throat> yeah, there's room from behind here, the Aurora. So yeah, this is where I got you so far. So yeah, they all, they all, they fell, they, uh, they all fell down here, they were... They, uh, they're all fucked up with their, their escape pods, or they got up over here, they, uh, based themselves over here, and now they did something, and now they're dead, and now, they are the sun, they got, got, fell, t fell ill to this place, and now, he's stone cold dead. I think it's green as well, too. Might just one of them yellow, because what the hell not, yeah? Aurora rendezvous point is a failure. Hmm. Uh, that guy got evaporated. And I guess that's pretty much it. Not much to actually see around here, isn't there? 
And you got the valley over here. So this is what I can see about it so far. Here, here, and here. But that's where the guy died. But apparently, if not the, uh, the animals ate him, well, then maybe the bugs ate him, as all the fungus and everything else. Always the view, he said. And again, does the abandoned PDA mean that the place where they all died? To be honest, I'm gonna go with a, with a yes on that. There's nothing to do about that one, so what the hell would I take it with me? Exterior grow bed. The multi purpose room. Acquired. One thing at a time, please. I'll cut you, you shit. Right. It's on now. There you go. No, it did. The hell is now? Might as well. This and what do you got? Integrating new PDA data. What is that thing? I don't know. I found it outside in the sand. Uh, part of another ship? None I've ever seen. It's not even scratched. Uh, uh, don't fool around with it. It might be worth something. Stand down, Chief. If it were going to crumble to dust, it would have done so when I picked it up. Hmm. It's glowing. We're not the first people to come to this planet. People? Maybe. Could be aliens. Could be the damn sea monsters for all we know. One thing for sure, we ain't gonna find out by staying here. Near blueprint acquired. So what they're telling me here that uh they had they at first they were over here. And then they went down there to the death of the Protegossi habitats. And then when it all fucked up, they went back over here. And then when the only guy survived, went over here, he fell mentally ill. And then he died. <coughs> you little shit. Come back here. Little fucker. Yeah. Now, uh... Stay dead on the wall and think about what you've done. Integrating new PDA data. Storm. Son, I said wait for the storm to pass. Your life's more valuable to me than a plant patch. You stop being in charge when the ship you were captaining sunk. I'll stop being in charge when you take charge of yourself. Say, Chief. Chief. What? You know how to drain those grow beds of 40 tons of storm water? Or how to conjure food from the air? I know how to prioritize. I'm just saying, if that's so, what's your boy's life worth to you today? If tomorrow you're gonna be so hungry you start wondering what it tastes like. Let what? Plants. Son, <laughs> go deal with the plants. Understand me? No rescue coming, Chief. Not in time. No staying here neither. This rain keeps falling, sooner or later this place will be buried. Only choice we got is whether to get buried with it. Hmm. And so they got you. <clears throat> Integrating new PDA data. And so they chose where to get buried. Buried new down. Acquired. Buried down below. Below the ocean. Well, I'm not really all that hungry now, am I? Fascinating. I got myself a Chinese potato. I'll eat it. I'll eat it right here, right now. Then again, all the vegetation and whatnot just to survive. I don't think that would kind of work out all that well now, <laughs> wouldn't it? And I keep hearing a lot of a lot of weird stuff over here. Hmm. The bulbo tree. Yeah. 
shit. Bingo. That's what I already knew, but okay. Son, I said wait for wait. the storm to pass. There you go, the aftermath. You see, Chief, you brought us to this sodden planet. Told us we'd see a lush payday. Now hmm. what do we got some six weeks later? A dead crew, a habitat that's half buried, food washed away. I suppose the executive decisions would be better left to someone with your extensive experience of hitting people in the face. I know enough not to take unscheduled detours to uncharted planets. That's something you don't want to learn the hard way. Easy to judge a decision in hindsight. Harder to come up with a plan of your own. Got one already. We take what we can carry and hunker down in a cave somewhere. I scouted a site. A couple hundred meters deep. Lots of metal deposits. How do you mm. imagine we'd live? With ready access to building materials? Like damn queens. A couple of water filters, a bioreactor, fresh fish. But Chief, we'll eat seaweed salad and drink our own piss if that's what it takes. Hmm. All that matters is, do you got something better? Send the coordinates to my PDA. I'll review your proposal. Oh, and so they went over there. He accepted it. But he got fucked up. Chief's log, five weeks since the crash. The only other survivors are my son, Bart, and Mida. The cut price mercenary are commissioned for the journey. After days drifting in the life pod, rain hammering on the roof, the weather cleared and we washed up here. I had made a salvage the Degazi wreck, set Bart to finding us a stable source of food. His education is paying off sooner than I'd anticipated. Our only problem is Mida. She says the weather's going to turn. I say she's finding excuses to risk our lives. I imagine she's not gonna weaken her life without a physical altercation, and she's itching for a fight. In every judgment she makes, things go from bad to worse. If she had my experience, she'd have more faith. Humans have spent millennia specializing in how to shackle nature to our will. This planet won't cause us any new problems. My really one task now? now is to keep us alive as comfortably as possible until the insurance company arranges rescue. The In this part of space, there could be months <laughs> or even years. Near blueprint acquired. Mm hmm. <clears throat> Chinese potato plants come on China territory. Da 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 da. <clears throat> that are new. This. Huh. Fascinating. High water content. Marble melon. Huh? Marble melon. And if the watermelon already got extinct already, it's the one that we knew. That's what it's got. Got a fern palm. Okay. Hmm. Artificial grow bed on the island. Not listening. Egg in existing floor databases is so unclear with the native to the planet and that co shares. Uh okay. Well have that thing care of. Blueprints equipment. Mm-hmm. The slow time around an entity, the full stop of the visual permit, and an entity for the very good place. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Bullhead door. Here you grow bed, here you grow bed. Resolution. Okay. Very, very interesting. What else we got in here? Observatory. The multi-purpose room. The spotlight. Steer grow bed. Bulkhead door. 
What else? Indoor grow bed? Composite plant pot? A primary head. Uh, well planter. Right then. Ah, the stasis rifle, of course. Wait. Huh. Wonder where he got the last piece of this vial around. Anyway, then it's a magnetite. Computer chip, battery, and titanium is all easy. But where does Jesus Christ am I gonna have find one of those? I'm sure he found somewhere near the, near the Commander Keen or not. Integrate new PDA system. Oh, no. Love it when I miss the outdoor story backwards. Alright, what I got? This island is a godsend. Look out hmm. of the window. No predators. Fresh food. No building materials, nothing left of the ship. And your kid says we're gonna starve without more grow beds. Speak up, kid. It's true, father. The natural growth rates are too slow to keep supporting us. All I'm saying is, oceans got us surrounded. No use hiding. Sooner or later, <laughs> we'll get our feet wet. The rest of your life may have been a fight made up, but I've made my decision. You want to forfeit your emergency pay to take a swim? Go ahead. Believe me, I'm thinking on it. Right. So yeah, apparently that is cured that for the time being. Hmm. Hold on. Ah. Strange. Really now? They just seem to overlap each other. Be quiet. Right. Huh? Island is a godsend. Island is a godsend, huh? Well. Huh? Huh? Alright. Sure, this is what the plan here has some, uh, <clears throat> some evolved, uh, let's see, life forms up here in the terrestrial. But I wouldn't say it would be all that big to consider making like some sort of Ooh. support some very advanced of life forms. Because the biggest one I've seen so far are either the, uh, you know, the Reefbacks or the Reaper Leviathans. You know, they, they could uh, make that thing for the native to live over here. But oh well. Mm -hmm. Surely I can also go down all the way. Let's see what the hell will be down there. Of course, it'll be something I would regret doing, wouldn't it? <laughs> Besides, I have to do like the uh, that little submarine thing. I gotta forget the name of it now. Oh, hey there. Did find at least one, you know. I mean, I did made one at least one of the uh, what's it called again? I don't remember. I don't remember. I definitely do not remember. But one thing's for sure, I know the way. I know the way. 
<laughs> ah, dear. Yeah, what's stopping me? Oh, look, there's nothing here. Seconds. As if I haven't noticed. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. Hmm. Hello there for you too. Actually, fuck up. I believe I should always save. Am I right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, indeed. I should save. Mark Plyer said it right. I should. I should save, alright. Gonna pause, you know, shadow play for a bit. Or maybe I should not. I shouldn't. Cross your fingers. Cross your fingers. Mm. Ah, I'm better. I'm feeling good. Last one I left, it was like up top here somewhere. And right over there, just uh, waiting for me. Right. What was it? Neptune escape rocket? Fascinating, but no. A prawn suit. And a sea moth. Easy, 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 easy. Okay. Be right back. Yeet! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Where the hell? Uh. Shit. Well, I'm missing just one. Ten. There you go. good. I notice. Hmm. What else were they needing? Thing is, I have to always make myself like a bit, go myself like a bit of a, like a right to go up here, down, up and down, up and down. What else we got? Lead and glass. Okay, we're back. Huh? Yee! <laughs> Feel good. Feel very good. Very good. Glass. One, two. Titanium, lithium, 
gold. Lead. That's what I needed. <laughs> Funny how at times of emergency even children and toy can actually comfort a full-grown human. Right. Shit. I we need it and I need it now. Come on. The sea moth is a fast, safe mode of transport, but remember that swimming is good for your glutes and endorphin levels. Twist is <sighs> I think we already got the moon pool for this thing. Welcome aboard, Captain. This thing is now feel a whole lot more fucking amazing than I remember it did. Right. Little guy there would chill out or what? Right. Okay. Just a bit of a precaution. Getting thing? Right, the thing everything you're running. Right. Or should I go? You know what guys? I'm gonna take this one here for for a test spin. <clears throat> and let's hope that uh you know I'm gonna go for the sunken one that's beyond the 250 meters down. And let's hope that no Reaper Leviathan just pops in out of nowhere. Just saying, hey, what up? Let me chew you up. Let me chew you real good. The chewy human being. Should have saved, you know, it's something again. I just saved one, so that's something, I guess. I can't understand what's all the uh, the red the lace thing that keeps uh, showing for the air. Oh, because that's the aurora. That's why. That's why. That's the aurora. Actually, is it just me, or did I just realize now that uh, this thing can only go all the way until 200, huh? Well, that was worth a shot, in my opinion. You know what I'm thinking? Yee! <laughs> Amazing. Sure, at least can drive this thing around with, uh... But no, I don't have much as you want to worry about. Right, give me a bit of a second. And again, no, I, I kind of have no wet... I kind of don't know how am I going to, uh, upgrade my fins or whatnot. Now, the digital shield for the ultra-high capacity tank, that's for one. And then what? I guess I have to figure out one way or another. Let's go in stealth mode this time. See how swell I'm gonna get you to do this one. I 
And hey. Uh, get out of the way, imbecile. I haven't seen a proper way. How am I going to do uh, do this? Shoot, as well, too. When the pipe... <laughs> when the pipe's not complete, there's going to be a whole new story. But until then... What am I going to do about it, huh? Warning. Maximum depth reached. Pile damage imminent. Thanks for reminding me, by the way. Shit. I do know I'm gonna have to sleep to dodge in all these stagnant ties and whatnot. So, yeah. Well, it's a good start. It's a good start. Should probably make a moon pool down there, too. Deploy me. Manked out of the two. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to need myself one of these. A nice structural points around. I know I'm gonna need an open space down here somehow, some way. Got a hatch from the top, so that's one thing. Hmm. Looks like you won't be able to rotate it all that much now, wouldn't I? How am I gonna even do such thing? How am I gonna do this? Doesn't really matter where it built, doesn't it? Seek fluid intake. Thanks for reminding me. Vital signs stabilizing. Look, you shit, this is my spot. Where'd I go, huh? Alright, let's go. 30 seconds. Let's go then. Didn't think so. This guy's a fucking nuisance. Welcome aboard, Captain. Right. So I believe I might, I might have to uh, make myself like a bit of like a second level. Just cause... But I'm seeing where and how I'm gonna do this. a bit more than I actually anticipated, but hey. But hey, right? Or so it goes. You know, I had built that special for that matter, but, uh, okay. Shit. Titanium ink, I need two of those. Lubricant and lead. Eh, it's not like these things are hard. Just they're more annoying to get to. That's why. How much you can do about this, uh, on these over here? One? Ah, that's why I only have myself with three of these. Stasis rifle. Ah, gonna have to be honest, that thing's gonna have gonna be a dream for now.
I'm gonna have to go near the uh, the knife part to see where what I can find, and thus, <coughs> and thus integrate them all into one, even on the uh, <coughs> on our friend over there, the uh, knife part. Yeah, do it. Fucking dare ya. Actually, hold on a sec. This bastard now is gonna meet his maker. If I fuck up, that is. Where was it? Where was all shit, huh? Making threats to me? God damn it. Well, it's not like that with the only one around here. That's one of that's what I'm looking for. Or at least one of them. What's this over here? Right then. You know what I'm gonna do with you now, aren't ya? So for one that didn't work all that well, I anticipated would. Sure, I mean, I did grab him, but, uh, you know, not what I expected, actually. I expect you to grab the fish, not the plant, you know? Well, whatever the hell those things were. Cute little rabbit ray. But I have no need for that one right now. Either another one. That's, that's about eight. But I want to get as much as I can. Yeah, that polluter. Thank you very much. You shit. You hear me? Give me that. I said give me that. I didn't need that. No, do I want that. If I had the stasis rifle, you'd be dead. I hope he gets a he against a crash fish and dies in the process. This one's asleep or what? I'll eat it alive. work because making batteries is gonna be an essence and so that's a battery cell or whatnot you have your fun around here Look what you done! You piece of shit! Should've used only one, but hey. Let's get some come come <coughs> some cave sulfur. Oh so that's what happens. Let's try with another one. Even though I like these little guys. Okay, good to know.
There you go. That's the good stuff I need. Actually, you know what? Nope. Not what we're looking for. There we go. Because I know these are explosives, right? What? Okay. What can I use this propulsion cannon for, huh? If I can feel myself a uh Well I mean everyone you know provide about this four so one two three about twelve with these third this is one thirteen Where to go huh? Come on then let's go then You're good doesn't it you shit Oh, to my surprise, I killed it. It did. It stone cold did. That's right. Float down to the bottom where you belong. Trash. I like the character design of these guys, but as you get for biting me so goddamn much. Even if I hear could you know domesticate some of these. And sometimes you provide the stock or two. I could feel bad, but I won't. Right. There were one, one motherfucker, there's another motherfucker I need to deal with. I'm gonna shoot you with fish. How does that sound? Oh, there they go. Oh, thank you. Can I take this one? You don't think I'm good with me with the hand-to-hand -hand combat, aren't ya? Well, guess what? I am. Motherfucker. Oh, look at that. Nothing didn't work. Give me that. I said, give me that, and piece of shit. Well, this guess is good. What the hell? Leave me alone, for fuck's sake. What hell, boss? Alright. I'd always just go ahead and make one. Goody. What else? Battery. Nope. Nah. -uh. Uh, no. Left you some pretty interesting stuff, but uh, no, not interested. No interest on that one right now. There you go. Boop.
Right. one inside, that's why. There you go. Welcome aboard, Captain. Hmm. I'll take this one. In return, I'll just ditch all this inside. I think I do. Yeah, I do. I do a lid. There you go. Now, I hope I don't get myself killed. And guess the mod I need. Well, had to be done. without human contact, it is normal to experience psychological discomfort. Research indicates symptoms may be partly alleviated by adopting a pet or anthropomorphizing an inanimate object. Really? How the fuck am I gonna work with that thing? What use it? <coughs> Welcome aboard, Captain. And inwards we go. Okay. See, Martha. Shit. Got the dance. Fluid intake. Vital signs stabilizing. I got no, I got nothing. Shit. Energy full charged, huh? So that's a good thing. Yes. Hello there. Ah! What? Am I really that scary? Well, I know I'm scary. <laughs> At least I can admit it. <clears throat> now for the uh, ass 
artillery, but that's okay because I already have what's already t what I already need, and it's called silver and copper. Sulfur, silver. That's a wiring kit. Gold. I need shit. And then one piece of gold. Why? I don't know. Hopefully this works. Hopefully. See moth document fully charged. So that's how it works, huh? I like the I like these colors actually. <laughs> I can't read for shit here. Fuck me, that looks amazing. I think that's the name, right? There we go. Interior. The color of yours truly. There you go. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Scout. No, no, no. Oh, what could be a good one? What could be a good one? Uh, I think I'm going to call it, you know, the, uh, the Trojan. All right. There you go. Yep, there you have here the Trojan. That looks fucking beautiful. Then it's actually mix it some upgrades for this thing. Or not, actually, I don't know. I have to think about it. And how I'm gonna do this. Maybe, you know, if I just go along with it, it's very powerful with it. I don't know. I'll see if I can do some vehicle upgrade with the, uh, with the fabricator. If not, then good luck to myself. If I can figure out how to make myself like a proper... Make sure I'm not for myself. Cutter, I don't need this. So many stalker tools I have over here. I might have to make myself a separate via the lockers one day. Oh yeah. So I got all these, yeah, but they don't seem to work now well. Tablet for the air pump. Da -da 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 -da. Or maybe it's uh, something else. Mm-hmm. 
nuclear reactor. The bulkhead, yeah. Spotlight. An exterior grow bed. Thermal plant. Shit. Base attach air pump. Exterior grow bed. I really don't know about this. Fabricator, the fabricate stuff. A radio, medical fabricator, wall locker, locker, a battery charger, aquarium, composite soil pot, plant pots, yeah. Indoor grow bed, what else we got? The misket doesn't say much about it, doesn't it? Welcome aboard, Captain. Yeah. Thank you. Trojan docked. Right. Anything else can do apart from just just uh, adding the color to this thing? Here we fucking go. There you go. Prawn suit modules. There you go. Uh, there you go. Perimeter defense system. Polyaline. How the fuck am I gonna make of those? I have no clue. CMOT solar charger. Sounds about good. Torpedo system. And sonar. Shit. Common modules. Hull reinforcements. See storage module. I have to say that seems about interesting. However, that's not gonna gonna be needing so far. Shit, I'm gonna have quite a lot of work to do, won't I? Well if I just sit here all day and complain, I won't get everything done, wouldn't I? Thus, let's get to it! How heartless can I be? Exploring someone's uh, graveyard, just my own base, huh? <clears throat> At least I'll, I'll say that it works. That's a good thing, in my opinion. This one's all full to the brim. But yeah. Uh, time to make, uh, let's see, four of them, right? That's quite a lot of titanium I'll be, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about. Even if one's already hit, can get much like a decent amount. Shit. I know these ones are gonna be needed for sure. Get. Well, he's got plenty to fund my my project. There you go. That's one. Fucker. Always oh, a bit of a spit to the spit the cut, isn't it? Oh well. Uh, might as well just get it done. Might as well just get it done, yeah. Otherwise, I'll be a stone cold dead man if I don't do it. Take us some lead. Not what I need, but I'll take it. Because, hey, it's what I need eventually. Oh, I can hide in here. Better know how efficient that would be. Let's see. I 
have saw these things are blind or light sensitive, meaning that they wouldn't step outside. And you got these little assholes too. There you go. Some more gold. Good. I'm gonna need it. <clears throat> How many life pods is there over time? Lead. Good. Now I'm finding lead, but nothing what I need. Unless I would be able to risk myself. You know, especially near the uh Leviathan Reaper things. Thanks for notifying me. Well, yeah, that's what I'm thinking about. If I head off, you know, into the, uh, the place where we have the, uh, Reaper Leviathan thing... Yeah, to be honest, what do I, do I have to lose, huh? And, of course, the Reefbacks have nothing to worry about. They just migrated from point A to point B. This is new. 130 meters below, huh? What's this? They'll give me a steam discount? <laughs> Sorry, I just had to say it. If it would give me a steam discount. Well, well, well. What do we have here? I know for certain, like, the, uh human body can obtain, obtain uh, all the way up to bloodvine. Can I, well, can obtain all the way up to 250 meters of death below. Should keep that in mind. Shouldn't exploit that too much. What I got over here? Nothing. Oh well, figures. But at least we got a crap ton of quartz. You look interesting. What are you? New creature discovered. A spine fish. Okay. I like the I like the sound of that. Deep shroom. Ah. Looks like blood oil. New blueprint acquired. Okay. Well, 30 seconds. I genuinely have no clue if I'm going to get be able to get up in time. <clears throat> but uh worth a shot, right? Oxygen. That's what I'm doing, God we are done. Fascinating. And some people would be actually quite terrified to going down here. Let's say, I mean, uh, they would definitely, definitely have their reason why. Maybe it's some sort of like a very uh, soft form of claustrophobia. Thing is, to be truthful, I can't really speak much for itself. Hey, spinefish, come over here. Oh, you got Ebola. Well... Can someone explain to me what the fuck just happened? Why just lit up? <coughs> whatever, whatever one of the things you sound like. It was either that or it was a music. Either way, I wouldn't be able to, I wouldn't be able to tell for sure. At least discover some uh, some new stuff over here. But you, you're coming with me, boy. I said you're coming with me, motherfucker. I need your calcium, and I need it now. I said I need your calcium, 
and I need it now. What's this? Magnetite. Diamond. Red oil. Thirty seconds. Fascinating. Very, very fascinating. Yee. Highly acidic flesh. Well, you don't say. This ecological bio matches seven of the nine preconditions for stimulating terror in humans. Well, it's a good thing that I don't give a shit about that. Oh yeah, what do we got? I mean, sure, got us a look at a piece of destroyed things. I definitely clean up my monitor a little bit better too. Because even when I play Subnautica, sometimes the gunk on my monitor can actually feel like I'm looking at something else. Welcome aboard, Captain. Advanced materials. Hydrocolic acid. Uh -uh. Benzenine. Three. Synthetic fibers. Okay. Never eat the antenna. <laughs> At least have that in common. And entirely bland, dehydrating but keeps well. <laughs> okay. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I definitely... I definitely quench for the thirst to eat ghost. Right? Because look, it's basically a meeting ghost. Tasty motherfucker. <laughs> I'm having so much fun, aren't I? And I love it. Actually, fuck this. Still looking at myself a reasonable amount. Well, I guess I'll just throw this with the silver. As for the lead. Hmm. That's why. Should pay more attention. Pay more attention. There we go. So, how do you feel being the protector of valuable goods? Tell me. Oh, God! It's scary, isn't it? Okay. I think you could say it's scary too, but I generally wouldn't care much about it. <laughs> eh, ugly bastard. There we go. You should probably refuel myself with more water. And take only from my reserves when I absolutely need it. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now I make the blitch. And who knew it will 
to that, yeah. If I need to want to get myself some more uh, materials for more goodies, all I would need to do is more just explore more, more, and more. And yeah, just getting myself uh, comfortable in my chair. I can't have to change my chair for you know for a different one, cause uh, ever since I do, I started doing weights in my own room. My goddamn chair, even though it looks comfortable, the legs start to, cr to crack. And if they start to crack too much, then they would break. And again, not to mention that I'm a heavy bastard as I am. Well. Yeah, I already have one. Hmm. That's right. This is way more rewarding. Regardless, let's see. We're pretty fueled up, that's a good thing, yeah? Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Goody. I think we might just have enough for one. Piss pa pad pisser. Well, I don't mind going back over there to just uh, do more. At least thankfully this one's all charged. It's a good thing. Then again, I would need to do even more. I'll just dish this one with the rest of the electronics. And I might need to do like a. Lock for the teeth, cause they're gathering up quite fast. And I noticed especially that one that, uh. <clears throat> hey! Shit! The creep vine biome is pretty cool to hang around. Hey. I could just crush the little bastard, you know, when uh when I picked him up when 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 he was still in the plant. Just pick him up and smash them right against the wall. Let's see materials, and materials. Yeah yeah da da da. Wait. That's not what I came what I came here for. <sighs> Shit. Sure enough that the stalkers are moving to this region too. Well, I don't blame them. This area here has a uh, you know what are we searching in common for? I'm gonna say, yeah, what is it what they have in common? Let's see, it's the search for, uh, titanium and all that good stuff. Thank you. Where the fuck is it? I feel like yeah, we need to go back home. Uh oh, a cave that leads into the uh, creep vine biome. Useful for the fishy then. Oh, you found it. Such a good boy, I'd say. Such a good boy. Now give me that, you piece of shit. I think give me that. Hey, you hear me? Yeah. <laughs> Fucker. Yeah, keep attacking me. Oh, now you're fucked. Now you are fucked. The hell that a 
That pisser went. Not here? I'll kill you here if I... Motherfucker, I slashed the goddamn... When is it gonna ever be the last one, huh? Got it for backup, huh? Don't worry, I'll kill him too! You feel uncomfortable? Don't worry, let me take care of that for you. Jesus Christ. That area there is definitely polluted. Where'd it go, huh, you piece of shit? You'll be, you'll be floating by the end of the... Uh, you'll be floating when I'm done. Get the goddamn raid out of my face! Piece of shit. And that's my last one. Ugh. Look at me, at least can make two more easily. Maybe one. Hmm. God damn it. Two more and I'll be good. Just two more to go. One, two. What the hell? That's when I get all these ones. Well, maybe it was from, let's say, uh, Slashing around aim aimlessly trying to kill a stalker. To be honest, you can all have it, I don't care. Maybe it'll be useful when I uh, when I intend to plant something, which I have no plan to do that for the time being. Anyways, let's see. Yeah, I need more titanium, that's why. The thirst for titanium continues. This is reasonable. Don't burp on me. Ebola, motherfucker! Try to... I'm fucked. I'm fucked. No, I'm not. <laughs> Stupid fish. I win again. No case over? No plan for you here. Actually got an idea. And you can eat a dick. Eh. Quit burping. I'll love to see you try. I only wonder why the peepers there swim with their eyes closed. Maybe they realize that's how I spot them. Maybe. Or maybe it's the adorable sounds they make. Hmm, probably the sounds. And the little shit stain is trying to still bite me. Any much, but hey, I guess I'm going to cash in again.
Ooh, let's see. Subnautica. Oh, sorry. I meant to say something else, but alright. Ah, goddamn thing didn't fight me with the oxygen. oxygen. Where the hell am I gonna make myself a <clears throat> a much bigger and potent uh, fucking thing? It's beyond me. Welcome aboard, Captain. Bummer. Shit. Oh well. Thankfully, at least I got a good use for all this. Glass. Okay, good. Just dish this all in because I might need them sometime soon. Never know, to be honest. Copper. So let's see. Huh, I'm gonna need one. And I got over a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. See how much my sacrifice was worth this time. I'm gonna head inside the moon pool, and I hope I'll be able to get myself over there. Because there's one, there's one for certain. I can't be able to reach the supposed Degazi, uh, let's say, uh, place by you know the little sea glide. Because this is more than obvious. This thing is not gonna, I'm gonna have enough air to reach over there. But this thing here is gonna have, you know, gonna have to have a little bit more and have a two shit to it. There you go. That's quite a, that's quite heavy. Stitch this over here for the time being. And the prawn suit. Torpedoes, they seem all good, nothing to worry about. Another 100 meter. Excellent. 300 meter. We know how heavy, you know, the, how you know, how much it takes for us to go down 300 meters. Or, yeah, something like that. So now, I guess it's time to give the Trojan another spin. Right. Systems online. I'm digging my new toy over here. She sure looks a whole lot more beautiful. And thankfully, f imbecile. Yay! And onwards we go for the supposed Degasi habitat. Shouldn't push it too much, you know. At least you know the good thing about the shroom that you're lighting the way. But regardless, <clears throat> gotta be careful all these uh, stalagmites and shite. Ah, stupid fish. Well, at least it becomes someone's dinner. Or lunch. Or breakfast. Or I don't care. <laughs> God damn it. May I? Oh yeah, because you know, the Oculus, they are... They are actually... 
You know what I'm gonna do to you? I'm gonna run you over. You wanna go, huh? Alright, let's go then, you piece of shit. Oh, piss off, will ya? You Ebola infected motherfucker. Look at you. You got Ebola. You got sick. You got touched. <laughs> Shit. They took too much, uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Leave it before now. Got a battery. All this down here only for one battery. Who would have thought? Right. Look, if I have to go off my ship, I will. And I'm not even joking at this point. Uh, you know, I was thinking about something, you know? Since the, uh... The ghastly habitats, you know, they were, uh, let's say they were died, yeah? And the son of the only survived, but he died due to mental problem, 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 whatnot. Ah. Uh, God fucking damn it. These things. Why would it ever be so easy, huh? I got mutant, uh... You know, just expecting to uh, have something of interest in here. But guess what? They don't have. As a matter of fact, they actually do. And when I get this one all scanned up and built, I'll be a happy man. Near blueprint acquired. Excellent. Blimey. Yee, that's so close. Even though the funny thing is they always say to avoid it. fluid intake. Okay, good. I'll take this one. I said I'll take this one. Integrating new PDA data. Plot twist, I was already there. Integrating new PDA data. Fucker! <sighs> hmm. Thirty seconds. Yeah, that I haven't noticed. There's even one more down there. I need to actually add myself a bit of extra air on the Trojan. And then we'll see. Vital signs stabilizing. Yeah. I was thinking, you know, to get rid of all these plants. If it ever works, yeah? Now you, get your fat ass out of here! Integrating new PDA data. Come on then! I, 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 I. Fucker! Piece of shit! Thing just jabbed me! all this pollution out of the way. You wanna go on, you piece of shit? Well, guess what? I got myself this! Okay, you can go eat a dick. Come on, then. You think, I won't, you think I won't do it? Well, guess what, then? I will. I fucking will. Come on, then. Look, you violent piece of shit. Why don't you just stay the fuck still? Oh, yeah. 
I fucking hate you. Ah. Shit. Shit. Oh golly gee then. What can I do? Been just fucked by a back by a fucking what's it called? I mean I don't know. A crab snake thing. You know, they always say to never to never go more than uh, 200 meter, I want to kill up down kilometers away, huh? All right. I'm not going to go because there because of all this shit over here. I'm going back there because I'm I kind of need my Trojan. What the name I chose for my thing? Look, you little shit, you better piss off. Don't worry, I can still manage. Then again, if I would have, if I even if I made over there, I wouldn't have enough time to make it back. I'll go jab your own dick off. Piece of shits. There, get myself a bit of fresh air. Now I pop out again. What's this? Whatever the Degasi here team had, they had some good shit with them. Ah! Fucker. You know what? I can go and make up my mind. I know you're to jab me. I hate you so much. There. Not gonna fucking... Piece of shit. Yeah. You know what I did? I put that thing there intentionally. So you'd fucking die. Motherfucker. Ah, that's right then. I intentionally, you know, I, I myself, I spiked their, their thingies. I spiked them. Yeah, I, I did. When we come in, they got their asses fucked. I don't need this. Oh, not this time. You think I won't do it again? Well, guess what? You go inside there, I'm gonna spike that one next. Look! I got one of these things over here. You like it, don't you, piece of shit? Well, guess what then? It's gonna be now in your home. Right. Get myself a bit of extra air. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thanks. Much appreciated. Well, to be honest, I don't think it would even make much of a difference now, wouldn't it? Cause, hey. Oh, this thing's jacked up. Now scram! Fucking stay down, then. Gotta take that one for some reason. What the hell is this one you're doing? <sighs> I don't know if I should. Oh, that's why. Well, let's make it quite simple. The damn thing, I don't want to go away. And let's make one thing simple. If it's not good away, 
I'll make it go away my damn self. Piece of shit. Go bite that thing. What the hell? You glitchy fucker. Ah, uh, even I got poison as well. Asshole. Crab snake is an asshole. Fucking hell. Jelly shroom spore. <sighs> Take that shit and shove it up your bum hole. Well, on the bright side, I can not make it over the good side. This world. I thought it might get claustrophobic living underwater. Father feels it is. He'd tell me it was childish. But I stare out of the window and sometimes I think how lucky I am to see this world up close. Back on the island, I wouldn't have believed the creatures that live down here. The fish. They glow. There's one that's 90% eyeball. Snakes twice the length of a habitat compartment. Certainly, it's not all friendly. Most oh, of the plant is toxic. I learned that the hard way. But I've managed to coax some marble melons into growing indoors. Hmm. And when they don't cover our dietary needs, well, we eat the fish themselves. It's a bit gross, but there's nothing they wouldn't do. I've been attempting to document my findings. Father approves. He says, understanding is power. That the more we know about this planet, the more we can use it to our advantage. No shit. I'm just doing it because it's fun. It's not easy without proper equipment and network access. But the mm -hmm. old-fashioned way, observing, taking notes, testing theories, shows me the world in a way a spectroscopic analysis never could. Lately, I've been watching the crab snakes. They ambush their prey as it tries to feed on the mushrooms they hide in. What they don't eat settles on the seabed, which fertilizes the mushrooms, which feeds the herbivores, and so the chain continues. Co-evolution gives me the fuzzies. It's not that I was actually getting near the damn thing. The only reason that asshole crab snake, I was indoors, and that motherfucker just snagged me out of there. Hey guys, I was doing some bit of some fashion, some cleaning. Piece of shit. Son, there is always a pecking order. And in our world, money makes a hierarchy. I pay me uh -huh. a fraction of what I pay you, and you a fraction of what I pay me. If money makes the hierarchy, why is Marguerite making the decisions? We need her. We let her think what she likes, so long as she does what she's told. What if she doesn't? <laughs> For enough money, she will. People always do. You were telling people like merchandise? Dilemma. You know what Maida told me today? Mm -hmm. She wants to build a habitat 500 meters below sea level, more than a kilometer northeast of here. And she needs Bart and I to do it. She's got it into her head that she can save us if she just acts recklessly enough. But I've hauled Star Wars to Neptune, Plasteel to the Federation. <sighs> this family operates nine different mining colonies across the Ariadne Arm. Maida thinks she's better suited to lead. Her contract still says otherwise. But I just cannot damn well tell whether it's the stupidest idea I ever heard. Or my only hope. I turned 80 years old last week. I thought yeah. I had another 80 in me, but marooned on this planet, there's no swapping out of my liver when the old one fails. Here, I'm mortal. And Maida is useful. So... It's my responsibility to make a decision. Return to the <sighs> island and hope whatever not the Degazi out of the sky won't do the same to the rescue ship. Or take us deeper in search of answers. And all the while be hoping old age gets me before the sea monsters do. I'll give Maida just one thing. She was right about these caves. 
There's enough lithium there to fabricate a hundred tons of plasteel. Mm-hmm. Enough for a damn fleet of Cyclops submarines. There was nothing anyone could have done to avoid crashing here. But I was right to order the detour. If we get off this planet, they'll be talking about the Torgel share price on the other side of the Federation. <laughs> Uh, so is this old man's laughs about, huh? Right. Carnivores. Crab snake. This line point appears to be symbiosis between the jelly shroom. All encounters species have been located within a five, 50 meters of the jelly shroom flora, frequently with the plants themselves. Cable of rabbit moons, the was struck in its prey, large shrunken claws, mounted in the oral cavity to penetrate into the latch and the prey, displays territory behavior, patrol the cave system in which they reside. Primitive crab snakes may deter herbivores from feeding to the, the jelly shrimp shelf. Assessment avoid. Well, it's kinda hard to avoid when this crab snake is a piece of shit! Exploitable. Bloodvine. Mm-hmm. This vine is a cup of growth in sparse corpses. <clears throat> Deep in the ocean provides shelter for an already distinct fauna and megafauna. Survival <coughs> in these depths is quite challenging. And the life forms which makes them home have developed quite an unusual coping mechanism, including a bleaching skin pigment. Dependency of oil on natural occurring metals and oils to adjust temperature and pressure. In some cases, electrical defense mechanisms are fascinating. The vibrant red oils which seep from the blood vine coagulate into a semi hard pustules which fall loose and form a reabsorbing into the ground over time. So, you're telling me that's where I've been as a major graveyard, huh? Deep shroom. Uh, this is called relative of the acid mushroom. A uh, depth load like condition is considerably more acidic. That is in a shallow dwelling cousin. It may have application, advanced application. Can be processed into hydrochloric acid. I would, if I knew what to do with it. Gabe's feather. Okay, you guys ready for some steam discounts? This plant grows in almost exclusively in deeper waters, where its hands are like leaves. Have evolved to filter the sediments of the environment. It's like the pen of the excretion of fauna populating the waters above and around it. So I see. There you go, no more blueprints. Modification station. Only got one of those, haven't I? Shit! Raw materials to form complete devices. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, my, my, my station is recommended. Good. Uniform human consumption parts are consumable. Liquid water, salt, says that they're disposing of any harmful product. Uh huh. Good. Good. Into pure. And you liquid. I would really love to see it over here working on this one. But hey, only in a multi purpose room, huh? Shit. That's a problem. Yeah, maybe if over here, it would be possible. But newsflash, it's not. <sighs> well, those batteries aren't gonna do themselves. Just keep rambling by my own self all, day, all the time. Right. Of whatever good stuff they have more more down there. Actually, wait. For good reason. Hey! Piece of shit. <sighs> Odd. There's two of them. Just go into your goddamn mushroom already, you fucking crackhead. 
Yeah, talk to you, you freaking crab snake thing. Why did God even bother to create you? You're just a nuisance. You already jabbed me in the chest already three times. You don't think I feel that? Well, guess what? I do, and it fucking hurts. Especially my feelings. <laughs> but like if that thing even cared, huh? Motherfucker! Jab in the chest again by the fourth time. Oh yeah, I would definitely love to go wake close into those freaking mushroom tree things. Definitely nothing bad is gonna happen at all. Oh no no. Why would it even, huh? Spare me the details. Look at that asshole down there. Yeah, I'm talking about you, piece of shit. Even I have to mop up this place. Regard the risk of these bats just trying to just uh, snag me all the way from the um, fucking titanium made walls. Unbe See? This asshole did it again! Fuck you! Why well, you hope you just get you hope you get fucking cancer? You piece of shit! Seriously, go fuck yourself! Crab snake asshole! Motherfucker! Shit. Well, I mean, if I move this thing anywhere else here, I feel like I might be fucking myself over, you know? Motherfucker. What we got over here? That's right, we got absolutely nothing over here. Oh, hey, we actually do. Integrate new PDA data. The stalker teeth, huh? That's about good. I don't need that. Fucking die. Uh, is there anything else here that I haven't scanned before? Integrating new PDA data. And we got more titanium out of that. <sighs> well, might have been a copy, I don't know. seconds. Eat shit and die! Fucking animal. Well, I have to say that they got, that they got the crew over here. They might have <clears throat> they might have, you know, like a yeah, like a way they're bad, they're bad luck around here. I can't even define him, you know what it is. It's been ten goddamn years for some goddamn unknown halt. Well, I'm pretty sure they're all stone cold dead. 
And what happened next? Oh yeah, that's right. I'm the one who becomes, you know, who has to do all the dirty work. I guess it's the only way out then, I guess. Can't say they remember much of the way out. Sometimes, you know, just for the uh, ambient spawning me directly, my face kinda. kinda, you know, let's say, burns up the memory of the place. <laughs> At least I'm glad I kept this old flare in the way. Shit. Up we go. Welcome aboard, Captain. Right. So we got one. The Seamoth Death Module. Say uh, here, let's see Markiplier for once say that cave wasn't deep enough, huh? Well, guess what? Uh, the Degazi guys, they proved them wrong. Twice, actually. I mean, they made like one and one home over there. It broke down. Another one even deeper down. I bet it broke down. I bet that's where they also died. And given by the fact that you know, the story ended, they became vegetables down there. While the guy escaped back to the island. And guess what? You become a vegetable there too. Well, why am I not surprised? Stalker teeth, huh? Something incredible just happened. Since mm. we're down here, I had this plan to build equipment and study the life forms we were encountering. But I didn't have enough enameled glass. So I started glass. looking for a natural substrate that would strengthen the glass we have. And those stalker teeth we've been finding fit the bill. Only, well, we needed more. That's when Marguerite got interested. She actually listened to me. More than I can say for father. And I worked up the courage to talk about my more... Piece of shit! ...theories. When I told her they were attracted to metal deposits, that their teeth get dislodged when they pick them up, her eyes narrowed. She dashed out of the room. Three hours later, she came back, her pack loaded down with stalker teeth. I asked her about it. She shrugged and said my theories were good. Uh -huh. Said she had the meeting out of the palm of her hand. I think she meant it literally. She is incredible. She went out to the kelp forest armed with just a heat blade and went fin to fin with a pack of stalkers. On the one hand, mm. that is the coolest thing I have ever heard. On the other, well, I hope the stalkers didn't come off worse than Marguerite did. She had a huge gash on her forearm. Huh. I don't think things went as smoothly as she made out. What's the point in surviving here if we have to kill everything that makes it so wonderful? I wish I knew more about these animals, but Father won't let me leave the habitat. Maybe with all this glass, we could build a containment unit and get up close to them. Well, that's actually stupid and smart at the same time, to be honest. Oh, sure, show those fuckers. They think they can, let's say, take, take a piss at me? Huh? Well, guess what then? I'm here already and willing to go. Guess I should save as well, too. Especially, would definitely would hate to see, you know, it all go to waste. Right. So what was I gonna do? So what was I supposed to do here again? Build more foundations? Like that, I guess. I'll take two just in case. Sure it's a, sure it's a, uh, a full bay here I made myself, but hey, it's better than nothing, I guess. Tight 
titanium lead. I fucking knew it. I knew I was right. I knew I was right. And again, what do I gotta lose? Just let these things sit here and collect dust? I don't think so. I need to make myself more as a bay over here, especially if I aim to go down there and get myself another section of a base down there too. That's intentional. And what I do, just like those bats down there, I'll be able to have myself a little bit more. Good. Well, guess could save again. <laughs> Well, yeah, I guess he, I guess I mean there's not much to do right now in heaven it we already explored more the Aurora we uh, collect a few pieces for the uh, uh, them this what's it called prawn suit we found like a kitty poster with, like, like a mark play you don't want me to go isn't it I'm sorry mark but I have to end this episode some sometime oh uh, yeah but yeah, hell, even when it's like a massive graveyard, which everything that dies becomes resources, we found more of the uh, long deceased, uh, the Degasi survivors and whatnot. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one, this one as much as I did. I look forward to the next one. So I'll see you guys next time. And until then, that is, of course, the damn thing, whatever. Whatever, stop. Seek fluid intake. You're not.